what is going on friend welcome to another video today i'm going to be doing a training commentary over my seven weeks out um, micro cycle so a micro cycle is a week worth of training and here i'm doing some squats usually on mondays i start with a little bit of higher volume for squat and deadlifts then moving on to some accessory work i had five sets of seven with 435 which is roughly 73 uh, percent of my one rep max and everything felt really good this day um, nothing much to complain about it's just fatigue in, in the lungs but then moved on to my top set of deadlifts with 645 at around rpe of six and i have everything felt good honestly as you can see it moved pretty damn smoothly right here yeah i felt good and then I backed off to do my lung killers, which were three sets of eight with 535, roughly 75%. And you can see that I start getting fatigued and I barely lock out some reps. And honestly, uh, I was just so gassed after that five by seven, so much, so much volume. But the intensity is usually lower on my, on, on Mondays and just higher intensity for deadlifts a little bit uh, with the top single and then the back offs and then usually it's vice versa on Fridays but there from there on out we moved on to Tuesday uh, which is my bench session and here you see me doing uh, 325 for a top single which was questionable my butt came up um, so I still working on that and then we backed off to do five sets of seven with 265 which is roughly 73 percent of my one rep max everything felt good my left shoulder was a little bit achy but nevertheless we got it done i skipped wednesday session my i forgot to bring my memory card and we moved on to friday which i'm doing a top single here with five uh, i believe 525 which moved really really well um then from there we backed off i had another single with 510 which also um, moved rather well. But these top singles are just to essentially get me accustomed to handle these uh, heavier loads for you know for a single as I'm gonna be practicing at uh, the meet. But then we backed off to the volume work, which was five sets of four with 495, which is roughly 83% of my one rep max. From there on out, we moved on to uh, bench, which I had a top set with 315 uh, which moved pretty well I would say like a RPE of 7 uh, then we did some back offs which I didn't record uh, which were 4x4 four four with 480, uh, 285 I'm sorry and then uh, we moved on to some paused uh, deadlifts off the floor now these were tough as shit but nevertheless again we got it done then we moved on to the last session of the week and my fourth bench session of the week uh, which is um, usually a five by two uh, with a pause at the chest for a little bit longer than what uh, you know it would be done at a at a powerlifting meet. Just to again get some more practice, get a little bit more volume in with the bench press. Everything felt good this day. Uh, I was really you know I was I was good about keeping my butt down which was good and just making sure that I'm driving through my heels down and away and just making sure that I'm maintaining my uh, arch. Yeah, everything felt really good this day. Um, but from there on out, moved on to some, essentially some accessory work to essentially finish the last day of training, which is a Saturday. I usually take Thursdays off. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off, and then uh, Friday and Saturday, Monday being a higher volume session, uh, Tuesday higher volume for bench, then Wednesday it's more like a power day, so kind of like a little recovery day before my toughest session on on Fridays. And then Friday is usually my squat, bench, and deadlift session, which is the most taxing of them all. I'm usually in the gym for like three hours or so, and it's. It's exhausting, uh, but I'm very fortunate that I do have freedom of time at the moment, um, in this moment of, of, of life, I want to say. Um, so, you know, I'm doing what it, essentially what it takes to get the job done. And then Saturdays is usually another bench session, um, 
and then some accessory work I usually do some uh, back stuff as you saw there I did some uh, actually did some accessory work for bench as well did some incline um, barbell presses I usually do incline barbell presses or dumbbell barbell or dumbbell presses Jesus uh, then moved on moved on to some pull downs uh, did some rows I have some chest supported rows just to save my back from you know getting uh, taxed being that you know majority of these movements are very taxing or the compound movements then did some tricep push down so pretty much like a full upper body sessions uh, some bench some pushing and some pulling movements um, then finished off the day with some some bicep curls uh, sometimes I have to be I have to lower my the volume on on bicep curls or just bicep in general just because my left side I have uh, bicep uh, tendonitis in the long hit and when it flares up when I bench it just absolutely destroys the front of my uh, delt and sometimes I have to back off um, from benching so instead of that I decided to just knock off some of the bicep work or just work purely on eccentric movements but here it was feeling pretty well so I took advantage of it you know and that's something that as an athlete you know I would recommend to a lot of my athletes as well as a coach and as an athlete it's just like dude take whatever you can get on that day essentially and that's why RPE works so well at times you know with with um, you know our with top sets or top singles because if you're feeling good go ahead for it if you're not maybe back off um, and it's just like you know how you're feeling from day to day is gonna vary um, you know pretty significantly I mean you could pick up a pattern for the most part if you're really aware but um, you know sometimes I do a little more volume for biceps and triceps and sometimes I don't I just listen to my body and pay attention to it but that's gonna be it for this video guys I hope that you guys enjoy the commentary if you guys have any questions please comment below and I'll answer all of them to the best of my knowledge and ability but stay tuned for the next video I love you guys